Hi guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, we'll be talking about Pathways, which is a new language model for, from Google, which is three times bigger than uh, GPT-3, okay? And it's better. Uh, it's for no one's surprise. So this model, um, we're going to read a little bit about this model here. So let's just get started. If you guys like the video, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe uh, and activate the bell to receive future videos. So let's go. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a zoom to improve uh, visualizations. Okay, so in recent years, large neural networks trained for language understanding and generative have Generation have achieved impressive results across a wide range of tasks. GPT-3 first showed that large language models (LLMs) can be used for few short learning and can achieve impressive results without without large-scale task-specific data collection or 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 model parameter updating. More recent LLMs such as GLAM, Lam, Lam, Lambda, Gopher, and Megatron, Turing, and LG achieve state-of-the-art few short results on many tasks by scaling model size using sparsely sparsely activated modules and training on larger data sets from more diverse sources yet much work remain in understanding the capabilities that emerge with few short learning as we push the limits of model scale so basically um the search for Bigger models didn't stop yet. I think, if I'm not mistaken, there is a model with more than a trillion parameters. Uh, I think there was a Chinese startup that trained that model. So basically, deep learning, uh, when it comes to scale, seems to have a um, a way. <laughs> so. The name Pathways is interesting because it leads to that impression that we haven't we haven't hit the wall yet, and there is some discussion about hitting the wall in the last weeks. If you guys are aware of that, which was quite funny to see people um, talking about if deep learning had hit the wall in recent years. In recent years, so uh, Pathways is a very big model and you guys can see here it can do a lot of things and i think the idea of doing multiple things using a single model is the way to go for a couple of reasons um one of them is the cross um learning capability that you can have so for example you might have a lot of data for one task and not so much data for another task and if the model has a capability of um, interpolating the learning or the knowledge between those two tasks that can improve a lot of performance in other tasks that we have less data uh, one example for that is which I can talk with some property is speech recognition. Cross models can be used to um, improve performance from one language to another. This is the same for machine translation. You might have a lot of text between, let's say, fr uh, French and English, and not so many between um, French and Italian. So, or vice versa, okay? So if you train a model in English, can act as an intermediate language to um, to that. So I can see uh, many things coming from this in the future. I cannot see everything because I think that's gonna be a huge, um, a huge deal when it comes to what we'll be able to do with these models. So there is some things here about the 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 model itself it was trained on a six thousand ships okay uh 
let's say it's more fortune in there. I think I think someone made the calculation on how much would it cost to train this model, and I think it would cost like ten million dollars or something. So this is not yet achievable for the average person or average ML researcher. But you guys need to remember that even a mobile phone nowadays is more powerful than the faster computer uh, 20 years ago. So you guys can see that moving forward, we're going to get more. We're going to get more. Uh, power so this will with the advancement of time will be more available for everybody so palm was trained using a combination of english and multilingual data sets that include high quality web documents books wikipedia conversations and github code so the inclusion of github code is, is interesting for me because it, it leads to my uh, assumption that they were targeting code generation altogether, which is, I think, that's something that is interesting. I, I want to see more advancements in that area. Okay, so there's we created I lossless vocabulary that prevents all else space, especially important for code, splits out of vocabulary, and you can characters into bytes and fit numbers into an individual language digit. Breakthrough capabilities on language research and code has. Okay. So we can see the improvements over. So natural language inference. It got, I think, about eight. Uh, I think that's per percentage. Common sense reasoning, question answering, close, and completion. There is a lot of things here. There's Gopher 5, Chinchilla. Let's see here. Prompt, which of the following sentences makes more sense? I, okay, I... Okay. We can see here some of the examples that we have here. Stumble, fall trade, okay. You can do a lot of things. You can explain jokes. Okay, this one is, I, I think, very interesting. Explain the joke. Did you see that Google just hired the Anglican while for their TPU team issue then we had to come between two different parts? TPUs are a type of computer chip that Google uses for deep learning. A pod is a group of TPUs. A pod is also a group of wells. The joke is that a well is able to come between a group of wells. Behind the speakers present the house in between these two groups of TPUs. Okay. So explaining jokes is something that I want to see more. Um, I want to see more examples because this is going to be the future, I think, for more other uh, more complicated. So like explaining a function or explaining a fact. Um, so this this extrapolation of information or knowledge I think is going to be crucial for other stuff in the future. There's also tr translation of code. You guys can see here C to Python. Mm, this can be used for a lot of things. Uh, okay, I can see this being used to translate code for other languages. So, hmm. I don't think this, I think this one was, I had a, in error. There's also a conclusion. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> you guys can see here the number of people behind this paper, which is astonishing. Uh, so, okay, um, so there we go, we got a new model from Google, and Transformers is still dominating NLP, and you guys, you guys can tell me what you guys think about the future of deep learning when it comes to natural language processing, are we going to get even bigger models, or are we going to try to scale better 
and get more performance with less bedroom. That's what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. So, uh, this was the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in the next one.